why is the system so cruel? I'm joined now on the line by Noni Makunya, who uh, comes from Positive Money. I'm sure I made a mess of your surname there, Noni. <laughs> All right, John. Um, my name is Noni Makuyana. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. Uh, as an MP, I came across this all the time, the cruelty of the benefit system. Uh, did, mm. I ex- did I explain the sanctions system fairly there? Um, I think you did, John. And I feel like you really hit on the fact that um, the system of sanctions is basically just punishing the most vulnerable in society and making them pay the price for banks um, trashing the economy. And the system itself is like just, it's imposed inconsistently and without compassion for people and what's actually brought people there. And it seems like it's just like we, it's just another system of just punishing people for just trying to get by, which is just not okay. Now the Department for Work and Pensions, for people who don't know what select committees are, they're groups of MPs across the party system, so the SNP, Labour and Tory people, all sitting uh, together, and they hold the relevant department to account. And they're very useful because they don't try if they're run efficiently. And I sat in one of them and it worked really well. And I, I it was one mm-hmm. of my favourite parts of the job. They don't try and score party political points. They try to make legislation better and departments work better. So what this Work and Pension Select Committee has discovered is that often these very draconian uh, sanctions are deployed totally unreasonably. They are from mm-hmm. somebody who said that she was sanctioned for going to a funeral. Um, there was another story of a woman who arrived. She registered when she got to the, the benefit office and she arrived for the interview. Uh, she had her child with her and the child wanted to go to the bathroom. And so she went and took the child to the bathroom. When she got back from the bathroom, they told her that she was going to be sanctioned because she wasn't standing at the desk because she'd had to go for the, 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 the for, to take the child to the bathroom. I mean, this is a monstrous way to treat anybody, isn't it? Uh, and the end effect is that the children then suffer because there's not enough money to buy them food. Definitely. And I think there's um, a case, so the um, the man who went to a funeral and missed his appointment at the job centre, yes. he got sanctioned um, nearly like five from, his, so his benefit payment went down from £705 a month to £200 a month. And it's like, how is anyone supposed to live like that, you know? And you know, you can't pay for your rent, you can't pay for transport, you can't pay for food. And, you know, people are just being punished for something that they haven't done. And also, they're the people who need the help the most. And, like, this form of punishment, which is just like, you know, as you said, is, like, just applied inconsistently and without any compassion and sort of understanding of why people may not have been able to attend. And it just, it seems awful. And, I, you know, I was, when I was preparing for this, I was thinking about how, you know, banks basically through like reckless and irresponsible um, behavior ruined our economy and they have not been penalized as much as actual people are being penalized now, so, you know now you know now um, let me play devil's advocate for a moment because you mm-hmm. know what the department itself said the dwp said that sanctions were only used in a minority of cases and a lot of people would say that you know, there's, you know, there's a minority of people who are on benefits who behave in a chaotic and dysfunctional way, don't turn up for interviews, are hours and hours late, and the system can't function if people don't turn up in time. And so, you know, you've got to impose rules and say you have to be there at a certain time. If you don't turn up in time, there are sanctions. Otherwise, the system couldn't function. I firstly want to point out that I think a system based on punishing people is just never a good system. And secondly, um, you know, we have people, so um, there's like lots of stories of people, you know, I actually want to point out that it seems like a majority of people are actually looking towards these services, like, you know, being supported. And also the ones who are not claiming um, benefits are going to um, for payday loans, are borrowing money, are like caught in the same cyclical uh, system of borrowing more money and it's just like everyone is struggling and um, at the same time as you know the argument of saying that you know we 
need to have a structured system to do this and to make people um, turn up for appointments. We're not really realizing that, especially as you've mentioned earlier, like some of these people are people with kids who are struggling to find um, childcare. And I, I feel like this, the issue here is that we have one rule for banks and one rule for society. Banks are responsible, uh, irresponsible, are reckless, and are just do not care about society. I don't see them being punished as much as these people are being punished. Mm-hmm. Um,